Good evening, this is Luke Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 9.43 in the evening on Sunday, April 11th, 2021. And we have an earthquake warning for uh, Central to Southern California tonight. Let's get straight to the warning. Uh, here's the warning for uh, California. A 6.0 earthquake is likely in the area from San Francisco Bay down to uh, like Santa Barbara, Santa Clarita area, and over to Ridgecrest, this area here in central to Southern California. And that should hit within the next um, 10 to 12 hours. It should hit uh, sometime tonight or early tomorrow morning on the 12th. And um, so be prepared for that. 6.0 earthquake is likely in the area from San Francisco Bay down to Los Angeles over to Ridgecrest. And then on the 12th and the 13th, uh, the risk is very high here in uh, northwest of LA and over to Ridgecrest as well. And then the 13th and 14th, very high risk uh, north of Los Angeles over to Ridgecrest, Barstow over to Santa Maria, this area here. And uh, that could produce a significant earthquake as well. So during the next uh, couple of days, we got some areas to watch specifically right now is uh, from San Francisco Bay to northwest of LA to Ridgecrest where a strong earthquake is likely during the next uh, 12 hours or so. All right, let's look at uh, some of the other uh, forecasts around the world. We'll start with Alaska. And we have this uh, risk here near uh, Sand Point we mentioned yesterday. And you can see right here in Alaska, we got a 4.4 uh, a southeast of Sand Point. So that was this area that we're talking about here, this uh, high risk area down near Sand Point. And now on the 11th to the 12th, the risk is uh, near Kodiak Island, uh, southwest of Anchorage here, over to Western Alaska. And then on the 12th and 13th, uh, high risk uh, near Valdez, 75% risk. And then uh, high risk on 13th and 14th, way out here in Western Alaska. So the strongest risk is during the next uh, Highest risk is uh, during the next 24 hours or so southwest of uh, Anchorage over to Kodiak Island in this area here. All right, in Chile, we had those uh, two earthquakes uh, yesterday that hit, actually there was three of them that hit in this hot spot here. And now the 11th to the 12th, the risk is moving uh, as near uh, Santiago, Chile, 12th into the 13th. We could get a 5.5 to 6.0 earthquake in the area from uh, Santiago, Chile up to La Serena. And then the risk is a little bit east of Santiago, Chile on the 13th and 14th. You can check these maps out at uh, quakeprediction.com here and you'll get all the details over there. Italy and uh, Croatia and Sicily, that area. The risk uh, from the 10th to the 11th was uh, mostly down here near Tunisia and Algeria. And I believe we just got a quake in that area. Yeah, over here in uh, just east of Tunisia right here was a 4.2. So down here near the uh, Sicily area and east of Tunisia. And then the 11th to the 12th, the risk is uh, near Croatia and East Central Italy. On the 12th into the 13th, uh, far Southern Italy and Northern Italy. And the 13th to the 14th starts to quiet down. And over in Japan, The risk uh, has been off here off of the uh, east of uh, Ibaraki and east of Tokyo. Now the 12th into the 13th, the risk moves down southeast of Tokyo and southeast of Nagoya and southeast of uh, Shizuoka. And this area could produce a 5.5 to 6.0 during the next 24 hours. And then the risk moves off shore farther here on the uh, 13th into the 14th. In the Philippines, 
the risk remains in the far north, up here in uh, far northern uh, Philippines on the 10th to the 11th, 11th to the 12th, 12th to the 13th, still in uh, northern Philippines, and quieter after that on the 13th and 14th. All right, in uh, Greece, the risk is out here in uh, west central Greece right now and uh, then moves to the southwest portion of Greece, um, just a moderate risk down there, and then a high risk up near uh, northern Albania, 11th to the 12th. And this is a more significant risk here, um, and you can see our, our legend over here, 50% is yellow-green, 75% is yellow, and the red is 95. So pretty high risk up near uh, Istanbul in northeastern Greece here, and northwestern Turkey on the 12th and the 13th. 13th to the 14th um, over in uh, Western Turkey and far Eastern Greece. And in Hawaii, uh, high risk in uh, Southeast Hawaii right now. And then that risk diminishes after that and uh, increases in the 13th and 14th slightly here. In Central America, very high risk in Guatemala and Southeast Mexico right now, and uh, Western El Salvador. And then uh, the 12th, the 13th, uh, risk is near Honduras here, a moderate risk, and high risk near Honduras on the 13th to the 14th. So the area most concerned really is during the next 24 hours in Guatemala and Southern Mexico. And uh, Indonesia, this is uh, concerning uh, area risk uh, south of Java here. This, this uh, high risk area produced a 6.1 earthquake that killed eight people. Um, the risk is uh, moving offshore, you can see here, and then increases on the 13th and 14th. So keep an eye out for this area near Java, just south of Java, this risk remains very high offshore in all these forecast period, even, even right now, and all the way through the next uh, 48 hours to 72 hours, uh, very high risk offshore of the island of Java, south of Jakarta here, where that 6.1 earthquake hit here in Eastern Java, uh, uh, so keep an eye on that. South of Java could produce another 6.0 earthquake during the next 48 hours. In Taiwan, uh, moderately high risk right now near Taiwan and Taipei. And that risk begins to diminish a little bit. And then the risk on the 12th and the 13th is up in uh, in uh, J the Japan, uh, Northern Ryukyu, Ryukyu Islands. Uh, north of Osaka, northeast of Osaka, the 12th and the 13th, and the 13th and 14th uh, moves east of there. Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. Right now, the risk is in central Idaho, moderately high risk there, and, and then uh, high risk uh, in central Idaho again on the 12th and 13th, and northern Idaho on the 13th and 14th. All right, in Turkey, uh, there's a very high risk in uh, north central uh, Turkey here. And during the last 24 hours, we got a, uh, let's look at that real quick. You can see here in north central Turkey, we were talking about north central Turkey yesterday in our video. And that's where the 4.0 earthquake here hit uh, northeast of Ankara in north central Turkey, right in, is right about, right about in here, right in our very high risk area here. And so still very high risk in that area right now. And then the risk increases near uh, Istanbul on the 12th and 13th, uh, very high risk up in that area, mostly north of Istanbul. 
And then uh, moderately high risk again in that same area where that 4.0 hit on the 13th and 14th in North Central Turkey. Over in the Caribbean. That's not the Caribbean, here we go. Caribbean, all right. Moderately high risk across uh, Northern Haiti and Dominican Republic through the forecast period in the 12th and 13th increases to 75% and 75 to 80% on the 13th and 14th, even across to Puerto Rico here. So the highest risk is in the 13th and 14th of April. New Zealand, all right. Risk is right now in far Northwest New Zealand. And then on the 12th into the 13th, we could get a 6.0 earthquake in north, north and northwest uh, New Zealand. So be on alert up there for a strong earthquake during the next uh, 36 hours in northern New Zealand. And the risk diminishes after that. So during the next 48 hours, watch this area north New Zealand to northwest New Zealand could produce a 6.0 quake. Big, big area of risk there in northern New Zealand. And Ecuador and Peru, our last uh, forecast area, uh, the risk has been off in northwest uh, Peru, and that continues on the 11th and 12th, southwest Ecuador, northwest Peru, and continues all the way through the forecast the next 72 hours. Northwest Peru is the area to watch during the next 48 hours or so. And one more look at the Los Angeles area again. Uh, 6.0 earthquake is likely between San Francisco Bay and Los Angeles and Ridgecrest in that area of central to southern California. And then the risk uh, stays northwest of LA on the 12th to the 13th, 13th to the 14th. We can still get a lot of action up here. Um, significant earthquakes in the area northwest of Los Angeles to Ridgecrest to Barstow, even though the Salton Sea. So stay alert in those areas and we'll keep you updated here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. And I uh, appreciate you stopping by. Thanks so much for the 165,000 followers now on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you very much to every one of you. And we will talk to you again tomorrow, which is Monday evening. Monday evening, we'll talk to you again. Thank you so much. Stay on alert in California, some strong earthquakes from San Francisco Bay to north of LA during the next 48 hours. Uh, be on alert in that area, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much.